everyone. My name is Sonam Narayan and I'm currently pursuing BA LLB from University of Petroleum and Energy Studies. I'm in my fourth year and I'm interning under Lexus and Company. And today in this video, I will be talk talking about the do doctrine of the basic structure. So in the layman terms, the doctrine of the basic structure states that the Parliament of India cannot amend the basic features. It lays down the restriction on the legislature that it cannot amend the basic and essential features of the constitution. Why is it done so? It is because of the reason that there is no overuse and the abuse of the powers to ensure that the powers inferred upon the uh, parliament to make laws is not overused. This doctrine of the basic structure comes into the picture. In the case of the Keshwanand Bharti versus state of Kerala, uh, it was the first case where the uh, doctrine of the basic structure was declared. It ensured that there was the supremacy of the constitution and prevented author authoritarian rule by a single party. It meant and it, it went to ensure that the objectives of the democracy was achieved in the true sense and the supremacy of the constitution remains uh, there. Constitution lays down the law which aims to govern the machinery of the government. It aims to lay down the guidelines and a framework in which the government has to work. It is done with the purpose that the government machinery don't overuse their powers or they function beyond the powers inferred upon them. It states a relationship among the different institutions of the government. So, the some part of the constitution are amendable in nature, while some are not. The main features of the constitution which makes the essence of the democracy and the rule of law cannot be amended. In the uh, very famous case of Indra Nehru Gandhi versus Na Raj Narayan, the court stated that the concept of a basic structure as brooding omnipresence in the sky apart from the specific provisions of the constitution is too vague and indefinite to provide a yardstick for the validity of an inter uh, for the validity of an ordinary law regarding the application of this doctrine and its scope there were times when there was the confusion the basic structure doctrine has since been has been interpreted to include the supremacy of the constitution the rule of the law uh, independence of the judiciary, doctrine of separation of powers, federalism, secularism, sovereign, democratic republic, the parliamentary system of government, and the principle of free and fair elections in India. It also ensures that the welfare state, uh, it also ensures that the constitution and the India remains a welfare state. So these principles which are enshrined in the Indian constitution, such as rule of law, independence of the judiciary, or the you know democratic nature of uh, of the uh, India, uh, Indian constitution and its republic feature cannot be amended at any cost. Why so? So that the uh, so that these doctrines remains uh, remains uh, there in the constitution and is applied. And therefore, uh, many legal jurists say that the doctrine of the basic structure helps to ensure that the democracy remains in the state in a true sense. So to ensure that the principle of rule of law, independence of the judiciary, doctrine of separation of power, federalism, secularism, welfare state, and uh, the principle of free and fair election remain in the state. In a true sense, the doctrine of basic a doctrine of basic structure plays a very important and integral role. So uh, the doctrine of the basic structure is a safety wall against the majoritarianism and authoritarianism. And in this video, we learn about the basic of the uh, doctrine of the basic, uh, basic structure. Thank you.